Barcelona superstar Lionel Messi is one of the best players of all time, and he's fascinating in every aspect. Very few players in history possess the full package and the ability to score, pass, and dribble better than everybody else on the pitch, or the sport for that matter. The Argentinian star is a goal-scoring machine with a total of 946 goals in 823 games. Messi has an outstanding goal ratio of 1.15. He is the youngest Argentine to score a World Cup goal, has won more Ballon d'Or trophies awarded to the world's best player than anyone before him. He has scored more official goals in a calendar year than anyone in living memory. He is the top scorer of all time in Spain's La Liga. However, one thing you must have noticed by now is that Lionel Messi doesn't exactly get involved during the opening minutes of a game. In fact, you may be surprised to know that he has never scored a goal in the first two minutes in his entire career. Rather than charging right from the start and aiming to score as early as possible, it appears that Messi prefers to ignore the ball and just chill for the first few minutes. Or maybe that's what he wants you to think? In reality, Messi, during the first few minutes, conserves his energy, anticipates his surroundings like a ferocious predator, patiently waiting and examining the opposition's defenders by walking around them. Although his mind is always on the go throughout the game, he makes it seem like he's not part of the play, and then, in that one moment that you forgot about Messi, he's suddenly driving with the ball or getting onto the end of a pass and scoring a goal before the other team knows what hit them. That's the genius of Messi. According to new camp boss Ernesto Valverde, Messi watches every single step with meticulous detail, fixing every movement of the opposition's position in his head while spotting weaknesses in their game. As the game advances, he gets in little by little, but he knows perfectly where the rival's weaknesses are. During the match against Iceland in the 2018 World Cup, the Argentinian only sprinted for a shocking 58 seconds. Yeah, you heard it right. That's how long he sprinted throughout the game and literally walked for 80 minutes. Similarly, in 2017 against Real Madrid, Messi only ran for 5% of the whole game, but still managed to score a penalty and give an assist. During one El Clasico in December of 2017, Messi walked for 83% of the game and ran for only 4.95% of the time. However, he managed to create nine chances, score a goal, and register an assist. This slow-paced play has even given Messi the reputation of being a lazy player. The only players that Messi outruns in a match are none other than the goalkeepers. The Irish journalist Ken Early was spot on when he made this statement, surely it must mean something that the best player in the fastest ever era of football hardly ever runs at all. Even Messi's heat maps show how non-active he is for the majority of the game. Although Messi has received quite a lot of criticism for having a low work rate and just walking around on the field for most of the game, he doesn't seem to be bothered by all the hate since he's still able to perform outstandingly on the field and make a huge impact on the game. Well, with all that said, don't you think Messi would have a better chance to score if he attacked right from the start? I mean, it's pure common sense, right? The more time he would utilize on the field, the more chance he would have to score, right? Well, you could make an argument for that, but the truth is, you simply cannot control Lionel Messi. After all, he's Messi. He has his own way to move on the field. The reason Messi starts off slow and prefers to ignore the game in the starting minutes is simply because, according to him, it is extremely important to analyze the situation, to identify the weaknesses of the rivals, and to conserve his stamina and energy for the right moment to strike. That's what he's been doing for years, and there is no doubt that his skills and strategies have elevated his rank to one of the greatest in football history. Furthermore, Messi has, throughout his style of play, proven that in a sport like football, along with skills, talent, and other physical capabilities, presence of mind, awareness of your surroundings, and interpretation of your opposition is also equally important in order to dominate the field and to be at the top of your game. You may criticize Messi's so-called lazy attitude, his slow work rate, and what some believe is his habit of wasting time, but you cannot deny the fact that Messi, at this time, is in fact one of the best players on the field. His magical dribbling, passing, and goal-scoring skills are unmatched, and at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter whether he starts quick or slow, walks or runs in the football field, as long as he gets the job done and does what he does best, and that is being Lionel Messi.